What's going on? Welcome to the channel. Now we're going to start with a story, story time. So, the story is about a sale. I'm going to go to the clip of the item on the video that I did when I was showing you guys. So, here's the clip of the item. Alright, not too hot. I found it in 10, 10 seconds. Alright, Pokemon. Pokemon coin. It's like a sm smasher. Um, I forget what that game was called. This is called Battle Coin Spin Action, but I think they had. I think there was a name for it. It was like. Can you see it now? I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I don't know. Gotta catch them all, though. That's all, that's all I really know. Alright, so, that's the item, and the problem is, is I sent out the item, and it was sealed. I didn't look at the item, I, I mean, I looked at it when I made the ad, um, I described it the best I could, that was pretty basic. Um, apparently that's like a hunting, it's like, it's like a hunt coin, so you buy them and they put the sticker over that one area where the third coin is as like a hunt um, I know nothing about it I just it's sealed I described it so when I scanned it it said I just copied the ad of somebody else's ad to be honest with you and uh, that's what it scanned out at um, and I looked at it and the way the package is um, described it says number 25 or number 23 or whatever number it was um, it says it on the package so that's like the way the manufacturer kept track of the packaging um, even with the barcode it still had the number so this is all the this is all the conversation that I whatever side I put it on but this is the conversation that I had with the, the uh, buyer um, and I, it, I'm fine on taking returns if you're not happy with it. Uh, granted it was only $10, so I'm not like, you know, it's 10 bucks. It's not a big deal, but some of his messages are just rude. Uh, and that's something you're going to have to deal with as a eBay seller. Just, you will have to deal with rude people. Um. I don't deal with as many rude people on eBay as I would at the flea market. Some people can blatantly be rude, but um, at least they're a little real, and it's a real person. You can, you know, you can, you can give them your uh, your words that you need to get out through the conversation back at them. But um, it's not an argument. It's a, it's a, it's a problem solving. Let's let's solve the problem here you know so he's accusing me of false advertisement and I'm trying to let him know that it's the company that you're buying from doing the false advertisement I have nothing to do with you know um, it's like buying a pack of baseball cards so that you can get the rookie in there you might not you don't know who you're gonna get in there um, it, it might have the picture of like like the pack, it might have like Derek Jeter rookie card on the front, but that doesn't mean it's in there. It just means that it could be in there. Like, I don't, I don't know. So I'm getting a little frustrated with this guy. So I just gave him a refund. Um, as you can see through the messages, I gave him a refund, full refund. Um, and within the PayPal, I, I wrote for him to leave me good feedback or bad feedback. I didn't really care, to be honest with you. Um, that's on his end. <laughs> if you want to leave me bad feedback on something that I have no control of, uh, yeah, power to you trying to get away with that. It, it, it might, but not really worried about it. I've, I've had a, a negative feedback before. It, it, it didn't really, it only bothered my sales for like a day or two. Um, and then the store bounced right back up, so it's not a big deal let him try it <laughs> I'm not bothered by it 
It's just when you're going to accuse me of false advertisement. That's just... That's just crazy. <laughs> All right, so let's get into uh, some work that we're doing outside, and uh, it's a little bit, a little bit of hecticness, and then uh, we'll go into some uh, solds as fast as I can. I got my list, I got a trusty list, and we will be crossing the items off as we go. So let's go. All right, doing yard work. Cleaning up some yard area over here, getting that all raked out. Um, I'm gonna get rid of some of these trees here, and just started working on a fence. Keep the dogs in. My last fence I made out of um, uh, saplings around the yard, uh, all like you know, ten foot saplings. <clears throat> in a Six years later, it uh, failed. So it's all failing around the whole property slowly, and uh, might as well just go around, go around the whole property, and do what we can. So, all right, let's get on. All right, Farmer John. Um, everyone loves these. Got these for two bucks. They're the best. Main, main logger pants. So here we are with the rubber, the rubbers. Sold for that. All right, puppies. And uh, here we go. Now, nothing that's on the list should be in this area. Everything should be over here. All right. Alright, first item. I didn't show it to you guys, but I I just showed you the sold on it in the last video, but it's this 8-track stereo player uh, with 8-tracks. I got this from Ray Ray. Ray Ray's a good dude. He has a sold for it. Uh, he's been looking out for me. Um, I'm going to try and take care of him the best I can, you know? That's 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 the way you do it. You gotta wash, you gotta wash each other's back. Um, so we got that. We're gonna stockpile everything over there, just because this is right here. It's a Thomas DGK seven eight. DGK DGK seven eight. Little Thomas train. Uh, this is sold for that. All right. We got this. Uh, lantern right here. It's a carpenter's uh, mining lamp, I guess you could say. Carpenter's, it says carpenter's lamp, but it's technically like a mining lamp. Double lens. It's kind of cool. Um, it's got two bulbs. It might work. sold all right we got this ps3 slim that's right down here let me cut the clip and i'll pull it out real quick all right here's the ps3 slim in a purple gamecube with the Game Boy player two controllers and uh, wires to hook it up and here's the solds for those. Lay them off. Keep going. We got a potato masher. Potato masher going out. Let's put that right here. 13 inch potato masher. There's the sold on that. We got this going out. This crown gauge, woodworker's gauge. It's the sold price on that. We have black roller skates and a model. So I think the black ones are right here. Toss that down there. Yeah. 
here's the black skates. <laughs> so there's what they look like. There's the sold. Um, you can look out for those. I got those at a thrift store, at the thrift store. So Ray Ray probably put those out on the floor and uh, I think they were like four bucks, five bucks. So I scooped them up. I took a chance on them. Um, yeah, sold. All right. What was the other item? I had it off the top of my head. Well, let's put these back because you know how that goes. Put them back on the shelf. Nice and organized. Uh, oh, the model. There's a model up here. This one. Uh, this model. Pretty sure. Train model. Basic. Mm -hmm. Alright. What else we got? Black roller skates, da 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 da. Stereo, ba 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 ba. DS. Get this DS light with uh, two games. Sold. And let me count the orders and see what we got. Alright, last item. Is uh, this game right here? Right here, though. Okay. This is sold on that. And then we're going to haul everything over to the stairs and grab our pack material that we need and box it up and ship it out. That's it. But. Yeah, watch out for them, uh, watch out for them short sale items. Okay, they're, uh, short sale stuff will, will, will bite you. Um, you know, you'd rather, like, have a little more ebb and flow with something worth, like, 50 to 100, rather than, like, you know, falling to your knees for this guy and being like, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I'm seeking all leniency. Please don't leave bad feedback on my account. 